actress here. It brings out the uh, yeah, youth and everybody. And there's Johnny. Had a good dinner. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're chill here on the yeah, love seat. Careful, Don's gonna be asleep yeah. right there. I'm going out to record with my new camera. E, Don, and the love sign oh. is. Don says he doesn't think this building's too old. Don pulled Ruby out for me and he's done a little bit of touch. You want to be able to do that with your car? Yes. Yeah, well, we... <laughs> you go ahead. All righty. Yes. <laughs> I want to wish you a very good first day of school. Higher isn't always better. Live like there's no tomorrow. Johnny was pretty dis excited to discover. Star Trek fans, I'm looking for the Star Trek uh, ornament. Midnight's taking it just a little better than Mittens. I don't think he feels 100% from those shots. And here he is, and he's donating fast today, folks. Yeah. He's in hamburger heaven, too. Yeah, Weatherbug says it's 92 out there. <laughs> Don's using his label maker again. to 100,000 miles on it. It's like at 97. Tells me that the squeak is gone. I cannot wait to drive. See view of the inside of this S. It's only 69 degrees out there. Here's where I called Don in to help. I'm cooked. <laughs> How much new Halloween stuff or fall stuff they have to do. Michelle. <laughs> Calm and peaceful morning here at Bass Lake. That's so exciting. It's Daddy. <laughs> Pumpkin spice is a weakness for me. Does it match my pretty green eyes? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to beat the sun. It's nearing 3 p.m. and I'm just now heading to town. I was uh, having an enjoying and relaxing Sunday morning and I was working on the one second everyday video for August so I could include it in today's video. So that's what I've been up to. This uh, evergreen here on the right uh, is an olive osmanthus and it is blooming these little tiny white flowers and it smells heavenly in the yard today. I'm just headed to town to do um, my usual drive around, play pogo, and probably run into Guardian Angel for a few minutes. Nothing spectacular. We do have uh, plans to go out when Johnny gets home, which I'll uh, tell you about a little later. It's in the 80s here today. A little breezy, generally pleasant. Nice afternoon. Speak kindly. Care deeply. Love generously. I think I found a cushion that'll work for the bench uh, Tuck sleeps on. Well, besides the cushion, just this pretty red sweater. I've loaded up my purchases and I'm excited to go home and see how that new cushion fits on the uh, bench for Tucks. Well, it's still not big enough. I really should measure and carry a tape measure with me. But I bet he likes it up there. We'll see. Or I could leave it like that. So he won't fall off the back like he does sometimes. I don't know. It's just not quite right. Johnny's home now, and he did get his driver's ed driving completion certificate. Yay! Absolutely. We are um, headed over to Kyle's house to do uh, the podcast again. The audio quality when we did it like a month-ish ago, 
Um, it just wasn't as good as he wanted it to be. And we live close and it's great to see um, Kyle and Ben. So we're headed over there to re-record the podcast and um, looking forward to doing that tonight. So I asked Johnny how the driving went on the interstate and he said it went pretty good. But he had, and this is the second time now while he's been out on driver's ed, somebody gave, honked their horn at him and then gave, and went past him and gave him the middle finger. I'm like, what kind of person does that to a kid who's learning how to drive and is in a clearly marked driver's ed car? I mean, if you want to grumble to yourself in your car and chatter about how frustrated you are that you can't get past the driver's ed car, okay, that doesn't hurt the kid. You, you know, can mumble about it. But to give a kid the finger because he's learning how to drive and he's not moving as fast as he, you want him to. I mean, sometimes they don't let him go to speed them if they're like 10 under. Anyway, I just, I just think that's lousy. I just, I'm sad to live in a world where an adult in an America would be driving past a driver's ed car and give a poor kid the finger. I mean, really folks, that's, that's just not right. I think Dex will make it. Yeah, well, I got out so he can be close on the right and not have to worry about, uh, well, you know. Johnny, I figured you could run with me to get the Chinese food. Okay, I'll come with uh, me up. Let it me go. It should be ready right about now. But I took the roof bars off the top of the Smart. and. Uh, so we're going to go in the Smart? Yeah, we'll take the Smart over. That'll be my second time in a convertible today. Oh, there you go. What were you in earlier? Um, BMW used to call my dad passer. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Um, but Ruby's very clean. Yeah, well, she was clean for yesterday. Yeah, she looks good. So that, um... Hey, Ellie, Ellie, Ellie! Hey, yeah. sweetheart! Hi! Oh, yeah. Ben's car is all fixed up from the hail damage, thank goodness. Just tell me what Jack's first. thing is called. I don't think it's had a snazzy name. I think it was something like... Model 3... Model 3 OBD2 two. CAN adapter. Yeah, the yeah. Model 3 from OBD. EV Motor Works, from yeah. Jack. Right. Uh, the Model 3 does not have a... ODB2. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. It was the, I think it's the first car to receive that exemption in the United States. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, but here we go. So now it's connected up. We can see the current draw. Yeah, 0. 0.7 amps. 0. 0.7 amps. 357.1 volt. volts. Yeah. That's the state of charge. State of charge is actual, not just what you see on the user interface because they're different. Right. Um, standard inverter temperature. Those on my car have been stuck at 32. They don't change. So I think I need to send him a message to see if there's a reason why it's not updating why? correctly. Okay. But uh, 12 volt is it 14 is correct. Percent, and then yeah. that's uh, kilowatt hours at 31.4. That's kilowatt hours remaining ideal. Right. And says my brake temperatures are negative 40 degrees, which I doubt mm, yeah. is 90. Yeah. Normally, well, let's see if I open the I'm going to touch the brake pedal, see if that actually updates them, because it's yeah, me, I'm not in Right, it's not so send a message. Not, yeah, it has to send a canned message. Yep, there they go. Okay. Now they're uh, 84 degrees, and that seems to update. It just very, had whatever it was the very, last time. Yeah, very yeah. quickly in real time. Huh. Uh, then you have the motor RPM here, so yeah, 18,000 or so is I think probably the, the yep. red line. And this is supposed to be the kilowatts being used by the rear drive unit, although it's not. That one just jumps around at random right now. Okay. Which confuses me because it's a map. This one's just map based off volts and amps, so I'm not sure why it's not working. Why? Because the volts are in the current are accurate at this point, so it should yeah. be. Yeah. Well, although 120, oh, that's kilowatts, so maybe he's just got his, um, well, it, so it jumps around like max minimum, max minimum oh, a lot. Okay. I, I, there's something, maybe there's a rounding issue or a decimal placement kind of. Okay. Right yeah. yeah, that yeah. got updated like you said. Ben was saying yeah. at the track it is useful to know what your brake temperature is and that's something oh, that this will let you on. do. <laughs> no problem. Let's see if I can... Make it charge. Oh wow, it's that fast. That was that close. <laughs> yeah, it's right Chinese food is here. So Torque is the app on the phone. Yeah, it allows you to, you know, conveniently via Bluetooth talk to the ES or Wi-Fi talk to the ESP32. But you can also plug in a uh, USB um, Type B into the box and plug that into a laptop. And there's a program that Jack has, it, it's used on any CAN type vehicle called Savvy CAN. 
and it will record and decode the CAN messages based on uh, what he, the ones that he knows about. I think it's mostly built around the idea of reverse engineering, things like right. that. Right, reverse engineering uh, CAN messages, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so these are the CAN messages. Yeah, yeah but that, How this do you see is, them going by? Right here? So it's at. Uh, oh, I just see a number counting up. Yeah, number counting up there. Yeah, yeah, I think counting counting I just saw there. there about 2,200 frames per second. That's just that what this is capturing. I'm sure the car is talking a little, a little faster, faster than that. that. I think that's faster than most networks. Though, I would think. Uh, if I set like auto scroll, it's just yeah. Now you can see that it's they're yeah. moving. And it's, yeah. this is probably not even a good representation because if we're at 15, right. 17. 2,000 per second, this is yeah, a bigger right. jump than yeah. that looks. Yeah, and this is, he's, he's showing, he's not filtering anything, but basically you so could all filter. those could filter, so you would only get yeah. the messages you want. So he had to go through and figure out which each one of those lines meant. That's right. Yeah. Well, exactly. or or that's the goal. You right. get the message and you say, well, this FF42 message, I'm really interested in that. I don't know what it means yet, but I want to see every time, oh, I hit the brake pedal on it. Sends out a bunch of FF42 messages. Yeah. Oh, it's like, just that, like, idle. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, the car's not, not even really well, doing it. Well, it is charging. It I'll it. plug it and see if it changes. Right. Okay. Um, something like 8 byte frames. Well, there's can, 11 byte can, and 20 I'm glad I'm not trying can. to debug that. That's worse than WebSphere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Ellie. Uh, hey, Ellie. <laughs> yeah, get it. Get it out. So Kyle said I can tell you that he forgot to plug in the audio the first time. The quality That's wasn't correct. wasn't this box was not connected to this box. Yeah. Unfortunately. We had camera audio, but the camera wasn't near us and it worked. It's just not great in audio format. Besides, we can do it better the second time, yeah, right? right? You know, so worse. we're back in the podcast studio. Right. <laughs>